and welcome to this now today it is Fleetwood Town against Shrewsbury preview now Shrewsbury were very good last season they haven't started the best this year but however they are 7 unbeaten in the league and they're doing well in the Jack Day Trophy they won 6-0 against Tramia uh, on Tuesday night so it's going to be a tough game and I'm about to preview it as you all know Shrewsbury last season went beyond the odds finished third or fourth I think it was third yeah third and lost out in the playoffs now it was unfortunate for him they got to the final against Rotherham United and they just couldn't get that bit further might be a bit like Fleetwood but they got that one step further to Wembley and just lost out and then like the likes of John Nolan left um, the centre half left I think it was was it Beckles maybe he, he went to Ipswich and the manager followed Paul Hurst so they brought in um, the old Macclesfield manager who has started off really well, uh, okay. They've won two, drawn six, lost four. Seven unbeaten in the league, but they've only won two of them. Um, they did win last weekend, um, which was a good win for them. They won 1 0 um, against Akron and Stanley. So they, they have a couple of good games coming up. They have one against us, they have one against Sunderland. Um, they play uh, um, the, in Shropshire, they're called the Salop. So it's going to be a very tough game. And they played the new Meadow and even last season, I think 18 out of the 25 games they won by one goal. So they were like us, they grounded out a win, kept clean sheets, and that's the key to success, uh, as we saw with Fleetwood two seasons ago. Now the top goal scorer is Lee Angle with three goals. I was just Ched with six. Um, here's Shrewsbury's um, last five fixtures, and now here's Fleetwood, so you can compare. Um, so... Uh, we're doing okay ourselves. We currently sit 10th in the league. We won 4 0 at Doncaster. Um, then we, were, we didn't win for like five games in a row. Uh, we didn't do too well in the Checker Trade Trophy the other night. Vlog in the description. I just thought we didn't want it that much and the players didn't want it. I know it's a, a, a very bad competition, but there's fringe players who should be trying to get into the team, like the likes of Kyle Dempsey, Gavin Jones, Jason Holt, Billy Krellin. Um, very recognised names in Fleetwood Town's starting 18 really uh, starting 11 in the bench so they've let themselves down really there goalkeeper I'd go for Alex Cairns in my line it would be Alex Cairns in there Ryan Taylor at left back because husband's injured and been returned back to Norwich while he gets treatment centre half of Morgan and Easton right back Louis Coyle the two other midfielders I'd go for um, Jason Holt and um, oh, it, it, it really does depend on how tactical he's going. Really, I'd probably go uh, someone like D Marnie or someone like, or maybe Kyle Dempsey comes back. Um, right hand side Wes Burns, left hand side Ashley Hunter, up front Shed Evans and Paddy Madden. It's a great team at the minute, got great strength in it. That is my team. I think Shrewsbury will play a good 4-2-3-1, maybe something like that. Thank you for watching. More prediction, Fleetwood aren't the best at home, Shrewsbury are okay away. Last season they beat us 1-0 and 2-1. They had a really good keeper, um, Dean Anderson, he's out at Sheffield United. They've got a good set of fans of Shrewsbury, so I'm going to go for... I'm going to say 2-1, I think, to Fleetwood. I think we'll win it just. We will concede because we can see goals at home, but we score them as well. So I'm going to say 2-1. Um, so put that on your Super 6 if you do it. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Who do your team play? Let me know in the comments and what the, the score will be. Can we get 25 likes on this video? I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. Peace out.